got me exclusive. I'm so high, I up and lose it. You take me to a safe place. We set the on the same base, yeah. I'm crazy. You like that? Don't back down. No, you don't back. The love and money. This one hasn't given me salmonella yet. Yet. This is freaking adorable. Yeah. Good morning, angels. Today is Easter, but more importantly, today is Nico's birthday. This is the first time it's landed on Easter, but wait till you see the cake I got Nico. Wait till you see this cake. Hey, bitch. Wait till you see this cake. It is the cutest thing in the world, and I just did the world's jankiest wrap job on Nico's presents because there wasn't enough wrapping paper and then the tape wouldn't stick to the other wrapping paper. Now it's like a horrific monster of unforeseen doom. It's that right there actually. Well, it's one of his presents, which I'm gonna force him to open very soon. It's not too late to check out Nico's wish list. Um, we both made Amazon wish lists recently actually. My birthday is next month. I'm turning 30. May 19th. So I have a link to mine in case anybody wants to look at it. Like, no pressure, obviously. But Nico deserves presents, so if you do want to send him something, he has an Amazon list wish list below. Happy birthday. More importantly, my <laughs> list. He's over here plugging her list. I was talking about your list the whole time almost. <laughs> okay, I'm send Nico presents, but also me. <laughs> also me. Yuck. Hey, he's got some stuff on the list too. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that. If you want to send Michi or Sad Eyes a present, there's also items for them on our list. So we will open them on the camera and you can see all of their joy with us. If you feel like it. Again, no pressure. <laughs> Should we show them the cake? I thought you did already. No. Let's look at the cake. Okay. Y'all, look at this beast of a cake. It is an ice cream cake. Kind of wish it wasn't. I used to get ice cream cakes all the time when I was little growing up, and we would always get like some weird Disney photo on it uh, from Dairy Queen. Like one time I got like a Aladdin cake, I know, and I got like a Pocahontas cake one year. They were so cute, but like, oh my God. The animal crackers. And actually I've tried this ice cream, I think, at Bibizito, and it was really good. So I'm sure this cake will be bomb. And it's been sitting out probably even longer than it needs to be at this point. So let's cut this bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trying to get it hot. Rate that cake. Oh. I'm gonna take a bite. Mm. 10 out of 10. Shrimps? Shrimps. Hell yeah. Oh, the dilly bar chunks. I know, those are freaking good. There's like little chunks in here that are like pink, like, and they taste exactly like the cherry dilly bars from Dairy Queen, which is phenomenal. Right, Michi? Right, Michi. He'll never know. Oh, stinky. Oh, stinky. Mm. Yay. I'm gonna make you open your presents after this. Oh! Yeah. 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 What'd you get, baby? Well, I got this fancy new lap desk which was on my list <laughs> it totally was <laughs> it's cool it's got like this little slot here for a phone yeah it's got the little wrist thing so i don't get carpal tunnels it's got this little like book lamp which is also a cool feature i think it needs to be like put batteries in it or something i'm not really quite sure yet i haven't read the manual <laughs> but yeah and then i also got some chocolates see this is how the phone goes in <laughs> yeah. or my chocolate <laughs> for snack time. <laughs> I got these little stickers. Nico loves hanging it on. It kind of reminds me of myself. Oh my god. This is me fumigating Wait, out of the I'm bed. I'm too close. <laughs> fumigating. And also this little container for whatever I please. <laughs> maybe jewelry, maybe. I don't know yet. I was definitely thinking of jewelry when I got it for you because I was like, whatever it is, again, I want it to be useful too. But yeah, but yeah whatever. Whatever like makes the most size. sense. That probably makes the most sense. The crystal fish I use now is like not big enough yeah. for necklaces and rings. He cute though. Do we look like? <laughs> Sort of. <laughs> I also got Nico these pants he's wearing, technically. Oh, yeah. You'll see in the last vlog. Yeah, he wanted them at Buffalo Exchange, and I felt bad for giving him just a desk. <laughs> Come on. Hey, I'm 32. 
Desks, desks are nice. To I know, have. I know. It has memory foam on my lap. Well, you know, there's a lot of dumb stuff on my list that I really, really want. So oh, I understand. Sure. Yeah. This one's called Prairie Dog Bite. <laughs> Some of the stuff on my list, like I'd be so excited to get, even though it's like a fridge organizer or like That's what I'm saying. spice it's, bottles. Uh, this is something that I will use all the time. Yeah. So that's exciting. Good. And the cake. Yeah, that's that's that a, a big chunk of your too. present. That was a big, pretty penny, too. <laughs> that costed more than anything I bought you. <laughs> and it was delicious. Yeah, that was a good one. Mm. Thanks, baby. Yeah, you still want to go to Ola Ripa later? Yeah. Good. We'll go there. We'll go there and get some din dins. Celebrate your big special day, you big cutie. Mm. I actually also have a present to open. I got this box today from my internet bestie, Ashley, who is a fellow YouTuber and Depop seller. And Ashley has sent me a box of swag before and it was phenomenal. It like had the coolest Virgin Mary picture in it, like a wall decor item and like this super cute My Little Pony scarf that I have hanging on my door right now and a bunch of cute tops. So Ashley knows what I like. I messaged her this morning letting her know that I got this parcel and she was like I just wanted to cheer you up after the old channel getting deleted. That is so freaking sweet. Ugh, you guys spoil me. You guys really know how to make a bitch feel loved. So I'm gonna open this up because I can't wait anymore. Is a little card on top? Cute. My tit almost just fell out. It says, hello, beauty and Nico and animals. Oh, Michi, you are also mentioned. Oh my goodness. She said, I am so devastated to see what happened to your channel. However, your new one is thriving. I wanted to send you a pick me up package though, featuring some things for you to keep or sell. Nico, I love you too, but I never know what to buy you. <laughs> Same. Anyway, best of luck to you. And I am always cheering you on from the sidelines. Oh my God. Thank you, Ash. You are seriously the sweetest and like I just feel really lucky so thank you. Oh my god cute. Oh my god this is like oh it is that hearty. Oh my god it's so pretty. Ashley shut up. Oh my god this is so cool. Is there like more goodies in here? What's this? There's a bunch of stuff in here. Oh my god dope. Ashley, what the fuck? This is amazing. This is so cool. Peachy. <gasps> this is so exciting. This is so freaking cute. Like, stop. Like, the color isn't showing up that good on camera right now. Oh my god, my tit just keeps trying to fall out. But like, the spider web, and like, this is like more of like a chartreuse green color. I am so gonna use this as like a makeup bag. This is freaking adorable. Thank you. Oh my god, this is so cool too. Like, for real, like, I love anything with weapons on it. Y'all know that oh my god what's this it's like a cute little skirt cute as hell little black velvet skirt with this little red lace on the bottom oh ashley you outdid yourself oh my god there's more oh my god this is so cool stop oh my god it's a sunglasses case oh this is epic thank you ashley oh my god cute and this y'all 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 Oh my god. Thank you so much, Ashley. You killed it. I'm so excited to use this stuff. Damn. Ugh, just thank you. Thank you so much. And you guys have to check out Ashley's Depop, obviously, and Ashley's channel because she's like the sweetest person ever and seriously the best. Thank you again, girl. Like, I'm so happy. Kisses to you.
morning babes it is now monday and i have a lot of work to do today but i have a few packages that i'm packing up right now so i thought i'd show you guys before they go in the poly mailers what's sold so i sold this cardamom essential oil because i've had it for a while and just didn't end up needing it so this sold on mercari for about 11 dollars. i also sold this micro mesh like very harajuku vibey shirt on mercari for 10 or 11 dollars i sold the dystopia core utility jacket with the super cute tag from my last haul for $30 plus shipping on Depop and then this one also sold right away sorry for my voice probably because we went out last night but obviously we did because it was Nico's birthday so this is the one with the tassels on it and that one sold for I think like 28 plus shipping and then this lovely vest with the tassels on the bottom uh, sold to a subscriber blunt baddie so thank you so much appreciate that very 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 much so that's what we are working with today and now i'm gonna pack those up updates i did multiple loads of laundry today including all of our bedding which is like the best feeling in the world i am still in my robe i listed about nine things on depop and mercari maybe somewhere close to that and so yeah it's been a pretty lazy and productive day and now i bring you shrimp alfredo bitches with whatever kind of cheese this is. Pecorino? I don't remember. Pecorino? That sounds, that doesn't sound right, but mm, something like that. You get the bag out of the fridge so I don't sound like an idiot. Pecorino. What is it? Like Stop pecorino. moving. I'm not the one moving. Oh, it is Pecorino. Oh my God. So yeah, shrimp from Trader Joe's, uh, Alfredo sauce from Target, Pecorino cheese from my job. Divine. Rainy cheese. Yuck. Good morning, angels. Today is Saturday, and today is the Earth Day sale at Buffalo Exchange, which means everything in this one area is gonna be a dollar each. So I got my bags, and I have Nico to help me grab stuff, and whatever we get, I'm gonna do a haul later. And yeah, it's like a really nice humid day today, so we'll see how busy it is. It's usually pretty packed. Yeah. Can never die, got a lit spirit Billy on my mind at a nine digits GD1 easy, now we no limit Bitch, I did the time, this is not a gimmick huh. Clocked in 10,000 hours Peaking Super Saiyan power Making dough in my tower Kitchen got a lot of flour Just got out my cold shower Pack a big bowl of Tell me about that sale It was hot and it was sweaty But it was fun yeah. I got some good ass stuff. How many did you get? Like 30 something? I got 31. I got seven. We'll have a fun little haul later on. Yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> you fool. I tripped over the uneven sidewalk. Let's go. <laughs> the love and money. The love and money. <laughs> <laughs> Tequila, mango syrup, and house-made habanero tincture. It oh, looks super good. Mama. <laughs> I got the spicy mango one, and it comes with this cute little sucker. It's fucking adorable. I'm excited to have this all night now. And what did you get? Mine's called the Bob Marley. Rum and tequila, mint, cucumber, lime, and CBD. Is that a green as hell? Inside of a cucumber? I think so. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Cute as fuck. Cheers, everybody. To love and money.
target time, bitches. Daddy. My beverage of choice. After a long, hard day of thrifting. Drink and play with Peppa Pig. Peppa juice. Wow. Pig juice. Peppa Pig juice. What should we get? Uh, maybe ugly dolls. Juice. Maybe. Five Red Bulls. I'm down. Bistro Bites. What'd you get? Granite dragon fruit. Ooh. Hello. Looks Golden? positively disgusting. I don't like that. That's what my yak looks like. Jesus. Hello. It's been wild. This one hasn't given me salmonella yet. Yet. This one doesn't look so good, but that other one we got last time was delicious. And I know it's over here somewhere, like in the middle. There it is. Hello, old friend. Old friends are friends. Everything we bought last time was such a big hit that we're buying it all again. For real though, that might be some of the best little steak bits I've ever had. It's good. This gives me anxiety. Ooh. Whoa! <laughs> Crab the lights. Crab lump? Now we're talking. Oh. Which one of these should we get? This one's on super sale. Looks pretty classic. All the really cheap ones are gone. Dollar fifty. Honey smoked maple brown sugar. This doesn't look like it's doing too good. Reminds me of that mayonnaise. Parking lot mayonnaise. Oh yeah, parking lot mayonnaise. <laughs> la 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 la. Great coupon. Do, 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 do. Some rice. Cilantro. Oh yeah. Oh, this is the kind you gotta make from like a rice cooker. Can't say I'm not afraid of doing that. Look at this taco bowl. Yeah. They've thought of everything. This looks kind of good. Remember Trump's big Goya beans fiasco? Who could forget? Most people have. <laughs> this is gonna go with our Trader Joe's uh, chicken chunks. Ooh! This pad thai sauce is really red. Scary. Baby Momofuku, your favorite. I'm such a sucker for sauces. What's wrong with me? There it is. <laughs> it's like Buggies. deja vu, everybody. Get out of my way. Hair bender. Citrus and dark chocolate. Damn, and citrus? Candied and milk chocolate. They don't got, oh, they do have a smelling hole. A smelling oh. hole. These are beans. Well, that was your first mistake. I've never seen this before. Frosty. Yeah. Free small frosty. Ooh, you get a little coupon. Ooh. Oh. Golden grams are used in the retro recipe. Ah, oh, retro recipe. Sounds really good. Strong, eh? Yeah. I don't know. I like these actually. Let me get these. They're pretty choice. good. Never seen this before in my life either. We need to try it and rate it. I can't believe you didn't get it at work first. I haven't seen it. This is news to me. Cherry blossom water. Look how cute. Adorable. Boop. Well, we need a new cleaning spray. And this one looks like I might enjoy using it. Yeah, yeah. Why not? These are the worst shrimps I've ever had, ever. Infinitely disappointing. Some might call it garbage shrimp, trash shrimp. Zero out of 10 shrimp. Shrimp most foul. <laughs> Only $5? Hmm. I kinda wanna try it. Go in your pig for the magic. <laughs> That's true. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, let's, let's see what the hype is all about. Oop. I mean, if it tastes half as good as a McGriddle does and makes me half as sick as a McGriddle does, we might be onto something. <laughs> I'm gonna try it. You wanna try one? You're yes. disgusting. Pancake bowl. Plant based sauce. Really? It's now I'm a little more ass. scared. Now I don't have very high hopes for it. I officially am too afraid then. Gluten free and vegetarian. I could make my own weird pancake bowl, but do I want to do that? Well, there's all there's a bunch of pancakes here. Like these look not too bad, but now I just don't care that much. I like both of those things. Mm. Yummy. Yes. Hopefully, something about this looks really unsettling. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I should get him some fried leg warmers. <laughs> <laughs> no, bolt bite. Hmm. That might be something Michi won't choke on. No, Michi's favorite. Don't you dare put that on a human or bad. Don't you think happen. about it. No, no. Blinkies. Oh, I'm still mad about the dinosaurs being on. He looks like he's having a really good time. Yeah, he's cute. I really like the graphic design of these. Like that little ox. Ooh, and this one's grazing. Ew. Shut up. Look at this adorable little spam. Oh. Look at his eyes. Oh, look at the little sea critters. Rainbow fish. Pretty adorable. Ew. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, just darling. Ballistic. Mm, that was kind of scary. Surfing right too. The Psyduck is so cute. Oh my god, I like that it looks a little like fake. It looks a little booty. <laughs> That's a cool. That's a pretty cool towel. Look at yeah. how big Psyduck. Psyduck. Oh, well, it says it's priced right daily. Yeah, 12 bucks. Hey yo. Hey, maybe next time. That chance. We got like seven beach towels. Yeah. I wanna go home. Somebody help. You got a treat. You got a treat. Got a treat. Hey. hey babe, it's time for the moment of reckoning with the cherry blossom LaCroix. Look how cute. Aesthetically, I'm gonna give it eight out of ten shrimps. Alright. Moment of truth. Me first. I'll let you do the honors. 
more harsh critic than I am. <laughs> kind of has like a Capri Sun. Really? Yeah. Oh yeah, weird. That's not what I would expect. I'm getting Capri Sun from it. Hmm. Would you agree? On smell, yes. Taste? Pacific Cooler. Interesting. Yeah. Hmm. Unsweetened Capri Sun. I'm not sure what rating I give that yet. Yeah. I might have to check back in after I drink a whole one. I'm a fan. Yeah. I'm not like... Hey. I'm not like stoked about it, but it's refreshing. Still like Beach Plum more, but it's good though. Yeah. And when it comes to the Benihana Bowl... Oh, yes. I'd say that that was like worth the five dollars. Like that wasn't bad at all. It was five dollars. I did have to sauce it up with some sauce though. So I do recommend. I used the Japanese barbecue sauce, which is basically just like soy sauce with like a little extra something, but not bad. And now we know. Thanks for listening to this review of Lord God Roy. bless. All right, babes, it's been about a week since we went to the Buffalo Exchange dollar sale. We're finally going to show you what we got. I don't even barely remember what most of this stuff is, as usual. Basically, I'm just going to show you, like, what brand everything is and what size. Since I didn't really select them as if I was at, like, a normal thrift store, I kind of just grabbed whatever we could grab that seemed good enough to list. So without further ado, I'll just start with one thing here. This one is from the brand Buffalo by David Bitton, size small. This is a cute little cropped denim jacket and it has like little sparkles on it. You can kind of see like little tiny rhinestones throughout. So this one I'll probably put on both Depop and Mercari and I need to kind of like price compare. I'm not really sure yet what I want to do on this one but yeah pretty cute. All right I will start with these pants. Pretty cool like plaid colored pants. I was honestly going to see if these fit me and if not I will list them. The brand is Slayily? Slayily? I don't know. <laughs> Here's the tag. And yeah, I don't know. It's pretty cool. They have like these drawstrings down at the bottom to, you know, cuff it if you want to or leave it baggy depending on what shoes you're wearing. So cute little joggers. Yeah, see if those fit. Next thing I got is this the North Face hoodie. I think North Face sells pretty well on most selling apps. So I'm probably going to maybe just put this on Mercari because it seems like more of a Mercari thing than Depop. But this one is a size XL. This I'll also have to kind of price compare. It looks like there's like a little splash here in the hood. So maybe I'll have to wash it first too. Yeah, this one will be up. The colors are pretty cool at least. I like that green and purple mix. So definitely good for a dollar. Found this motorhead shirt. Pretty cool. I mean, it's New school. I'm sure, honestly, that this was new merch. Cool back hit. For a dollar, I could definitely get at least 15 for this. Mm -hmm. So I thought I'd pick it up. It's a size medium. Looks like a pretty good size medium, like almost could pass as a large probably. Thought that was cool. Next thing I have is this really cool big camouflage jacket. This is a size 16W by the brand Romans. It's like really nice. Like if I were to wear it oversized fit um, and maybe like a normal XL on a man, I guess. Like I'm not really fully sure if this is a men's or a women's jacket, but I'll probably put this one on both Mercari and Depop and it'll have measurements and everything. I love a good camel piece, so definitely glad I got that. She grabbed me these, actually, which looking at the tread on the back, or on the bottom, I mean, they look like they're pretty much brand new. They're Nike running shoes. I think it's called Nike Flex is what it says back here. That yeah. would be good for Mercari. Pretty cool. It kind of looks like there's yellow staining, but I think it's actually just like there's yellowy material underneath that kind of is poking through. You can even see right here that that's coming through. Probably throw those up on Mercari. They are a men's 12. So a little bigger size, but somebody needs them. Could be you. Next thing I have is these super cute little Levi shorts. Here's the back. They're a really nice gray wash. And on the front, it has these cute little metal studs. There's some rhinestones and there's some that are just plain metal. And this is a size 25. They are described as a wedgie short. So I'm guessing they are pretty high-waisted in the rise. But yeah, one of my favorite pairs of shorts was a pair of Levi's jeans. So I'm sure these are like super flattering and I'm excited to put them in both Depop and Mercari. The next thing I grabbed was just this pair of of jeans. New with tags. The brand is, I don't know how you, Wesk? We are the super <laughs> superlative conspiracy. <laughs> I don't know. But they have these tags. Size 32. A little bit big for me, but they are kind of like this baggy leg style, which is in right now. So, so, eh. 
a dollar, I'll take a gamble and pick them up, because why not? Next thing I have are these little knit baby blue shorts. This brand is called Over Clichas, size large slash XL. And again, I really like the rise on these. They're like cute little lounge shorts, or else you could obviously wear them with like an oversized t-shirt, kind of like what I'm wearing right now, except maybe different colors. And I also got them in the color pink. So I'll just show those off really quick too. These are also a size large slash XL. And these I know were definitely Buffalo Exchange new merch, just because I know, you know, there's two different colorways here. That's like a dead giveaway. This brand, like I've never heard of. <laughs> and for those of you who don't know, I did used to work at Buffalo Exchange once upon a time. And aside from the stuff that they buy in from customers, they also get big shipments of brand new merchandise. And that merchandise is generally like boutique -y brands that are definitely not worth a lot. So like it's definitely like just straight up fast fashion. So that's kind of what this sort of stuff is. It's based on just what is hyper trendy at the moment. But yeah, these are cute. I mean, I love them. So those will both be in my Depop and Mercari. Next thing I picked up was just this denim diesel brand top. I just like the contrast stitching on there. Kind of a Western look. For a dollar, I'd pick that up. I'd pick this up at Bins, I guess, if I saw it. Uh, there's the diesel tag, size large. Actually, when I grabbed this, this kid was next to me. He's like, oh, I sold that in, actually. <laughs> I'm like, that is awesome. I also saw something I sold in in the dollar stuff. Hey, it is what it is. And I also had to tell the person holding it that I sold it in. <laughs> <laughs> just couldn't control myself yeah all right next thing i have is pretty insane looking <laughs> but it is this anthropology dalmatian skirt and it's a size four and it retailed 128 dollars so here it is in all its glory this is like super kitschy and the texture is kind of weird but yeah here's the anthro tag that is still on it and the good thing about this is, again, um, it'll be good for Mercari, if nothing else. This would probably do best on Poshmark, but I just don't care. So that's what we're going to do. But yeah, interesting. I'm sure somebody will really want it. I just, I did ignore it the first couple times I saw it. And then I saw the tag and I was like, oh, Anthro. Well, I'm grabbing that. That would have been a huge mistake if I had left that for a dollar. So glad I, glad I checked it out a little further. Yeah, somebody might be searching that all the time. It's like it's a true. very specific... Thing, that is so. a very niche skirt. I grabbed this pair of Wrangler jeans mainly because they're my size. So <laughs> why not see if they fit well? If not, yeah, I'll just throw them up on Mercari or something. <laughs> they look brand new, very dark denim still. They're not like washed or anything. So had to do it. Next thing I have are these little Reebok tennis shoes. It says hot ones on the inside. And it says they're a size... Ooh, there's a moth. I'm gonna kill that. That's crazy, actually. Five, I'm bitch. pretty sure this is the collab with, like, Hot Ones is, like, that thing, that YouTube show where they ha eat chicken wings. Oh. You know what I'm talking yeah, about? Uh -huh. They do it with all the yeah, hot sauces. It's got a chicken on it. It says it's a five and a half women's maybe. Let me see. Where was that? Okay, USA five and a half. That's pretty small for a women's shoe. So that's probably why they had a hard time selling these. But they're really cute. I really like the colors on them. So, I mean, if they fit me and I needed a pair of gym shoes ASAP, I would consider wearing them. But I'm probably going to put them on Mercari and maybe Depop. Try to wash them for you. Yeah, they're, they're a little dirty. But again, for a dollar, I was like, hell yeah, I'm taking those. All right, I'm already to my last piece, which I think this might have been like one of the first things that I found is just this Puma puffer jacket. Really surprised to see it just in there. I think it was in the bottom of like this box though that they had sitting out. So maybe that makes sense. But it seems like it's in good condition. It's really nice. Just has a little like scuff right here. Okay, yeah, that's nothing. There's a size XL. This is probably one of my favorite things I got. These are like scene queen pants and the brand is called Cute Mistake. And look how cute this tag is. Adorable. It even has it on the back and it has this little metal ring on the back too. So you could like connect like a chain it looks like from the front to the back here. I don't have any for that to happen unfortunately, but maybe whoever buys this does at home. And these are a size medium. They're also like a faux suede material. So they're like a nice little texture and they have pockets. And I think these will do particularly well on Depop because scene core's in. So I love that for me. You're done. I'm done. Shit. Your turn again. All right. I'm this, just hanging out. This is another anthro piece, and this one is pretty dystopia chic, so that's dope. They're like green khaki shorts. These are a size US 6. 
So those will probably again go on both Depop and Mercari. And then this is a cute little dress, which I don't think has any tags or size or brand, but it's just like a pink little, again, kind of like a scene queen vibe. So I think that one will go on both Depop and Mercari. I don't remember what these are. This is definitely new merch as well. This is the brand Chocolate USA. Still has this big tag on it. And just judging by the material, this is definitely some of their shipment merch. But yeah, kind of like a just cute little pattern. And I like that it has the belt. I also got this sequin dress, which is by Lily Rose. This is a size extra small. This is a fun little party vibe, Las Vegas style. So that'll be a fun one to do a try on for and put in my shop. This shirt is super cute and I definitely contemplated buying it a couple times before it made its way to the dollar sale. So I'm really glad that I got to snag this one. And this is just like a little vintage top. So there's no brand tag and there's no size tag and there's fringe on the bottom and Sad Eyes is trying to play with it right now as we speak. So this is super cute and that will be in Depop and Mercari. This one is really weird. It almost like at a glance looks like a Misfits band tee, but I think this might be in Spanish or something it looks like. But yeah, the font definitely makes me think of like Misfits vibe and little anarchy star in the skull. So I don't think this one really has any tags either. And that one I think will do, oh wait, this is something. Here's the little tag at the very bottom. I don't even know what this is, but it's got a little bit of info. But yeah, this will be in my Depop and Mercari as well. I also got this cute little butterfly dress, which I suspect is probably also new merch. This is by Derek Hart, size large. It has kind of like a crisscrossy back and just a little cute pattern, perfect for summertime. So that'll be going on Depop and Mercari. I also got these Nike sneakers. These kind of have like a gray checkerboard vibe going on. These look like they're in pretty new condition. There's like not like really any dinginess or anything. These are a size seven. These I'm probably just gonna put on Mercari. Let's see, this dark wash denim. This is the brand Cowboy Stars size small and these are like a nice like wide leg style pant like this so those i'll probably put on both apps as well and then this thing is really cute actually i kind of want to see what this looks like on me before i decide to officially sell it but it's like a little romper and it almost has like kind of like a sailor vibe to it with these um kind of like metallic glittery rope details and it has like this strap that goes kind of like around the neck like this and then the back is pretty open, which I really like things with an open back because that's where my favorite tattoo lives. Love that for me when I find good rompers like that. This one is called Prairie Lacrosse. Oh, actually, that looks like a tag from like a vintage store or something. Yeah, this, because it this... says it's from the 1940s. Which... Oh, really? Okay. You see, it says vin vintage yeah. 1940s. That's crazy. I was going to say this looks like it came from a boutique, like an actual boutique, because this tag is very boutique-like. It looks like it's actually surf... Surf togs. Surf togs swimsuit. Wow, that's crazy. This does not seem like a swimsuit. <laughs> In the yeah, 40s. I guess. That's crazy. From the fucking 40s. Hmm. Well, I'm going to have to do a little more information on this before I list it, if I do. But yeah, super freaking cute. I'm really glad I got this one. These are some Adidas sweatpants, which I kind of noticed right at the end. They have these sparkly little rhinestone details on this side, and then this leg has a full Adidas spell out in all rhinestones as well. These are adorable. They are a size US large, and these will probably go on both Depop and Mercari. I also have this pair of shoes, which I suspect are men's. <laughs> I should have just given these to you. I guess it's not too late, but these are a size 10 and a half, and yeah, it says male. Some dudes Adidas sneakers. These will be going on Mercari or Tonico. This is another anthropology piece. So that is super exciting. This one also has the tag still on it. The price tag has been removed, but the size is small. The brand is Lilka. I'm not super familiar with that one, but any anthro is good, honestly. So let's see, this thing's all tangled up. I'm not sure what this is supposed to look like exactly. Okay, so there's little tassels, some floppy tassels, and there's also like this belt. So yeah, just like a cute little like vintage inspired dress. Perfect for summer. I also got this little camo jacket, which is from H&M. It's a size extra small, and this one has more of like a cropped vibe to it. So that's cute, and that'll definitely be going on my Depop and Mercari. And this one I know Nico 
found and threw towards me. This is from Topshop. It's a size US 4 and it's a satin black and white polka dot shirt. Almost looks like sleepwear, but this would also be very cute tied up into a little cropped blouse. And I have just a couple more things. So this one is, it says Batea Boutique. Still has the tags on from there and just like a cute little like bohemian style dress it has this texture to it which i'm sure this has a name and if you know what it's called please let me know in the comments so i can list it more specifically but this is a size small and at the boutique that it came from it was originally 72 dollars so love that this is one of my favorite things i got as well this is a cute little Dooney and Burke little clutch. And it looks like it says the word nope all over it. I don't know if that's like what it's actually supposed to say, but it definitely, that's how I read it. Very cute. <laughs> it says Dooney and Burke, definitely. Yeah. But on the front, all you can see is the N-O-P-E, I feel like. So I think it's super cute. That'll be going on Depop and Mercari. I also got this cute little nautical starfish bracelet, which I think is adorable. It's got these really sparkly little jewels on it and it kind of opens like this so that'll probably go on both places as well i don't really know i kind of hate listing jewelry but it makes nice for like when people want a bundle or something to get free shipping so i'll probably for sure do depop on that one and this i almost want to kind of keep because it's pretty cute it's a little gold cross necklace it's kind of laying sideways and it's got all these sparkly little rhinestones so if it looks like decent on me i might keep this one and then sell it eventually but i really like that and then these are like faux leather pants pants from Zara, which I think Nika also found and threw at me. These are a size USA large and just like a really chic, you know, like minimalist model off duty vibe. So those will be going probably both places. And the last thing I have is also a jacket. This is just kind of like an Asian brand. It says Yishang on this side and then this side has like some, yeah, like Asian boutique kind of style writing. So let's see, I don't know what size this one is. It definitely looks like it's probably on the smaller side, but it's a little animal print posh little jacket. So I think this will do well on probably Depop, but I'm gonna put it both places. And yeah, that's everything. So I think well, I'd, I'd say we did pretty good. I mean, this is one of those things where each year I really look forward to it and usually prepare heavily by like waking up early, bringing the bags, being first in line. Like this year, after it's been a couple years, obviously because of the pandemic without it happening, um, we didn't get there as early as we could have. But the other thing is that they usually have it outdoors and this year they had it indoors because it was so rainy that day. So really it didn't even matter if we had gotten there first because it wasn't as busy as it could have been and it wasn't as spread out as it usually is. So there was less ground to cover really. I usually get twice as many things as this. This year I got about 31 things. So a dollar each, dollar each, pretty damn good. And now I'm gonna try to turn this all into birthday money. <laughs> that would be awesome. So if you saw anything you liked, definitely just let me know or let Nico know. Anything he held up will be in his shop. Anything I held up will be in my shop. And you can reach out to me on Depop specifically or Instagram if you'd like. Say what you? Yes. And I know I've been getting stuff and not listing it. I am very busy and work a lot now. So yes. Sorry, I'll eventually get everything listed. It is what it is. We both have three jobs now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It is what it is. I hope you guys liked this vlog. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for all the support you've been giving us in the last few videos we've been putting out that seriously helps so much and we are just fucking grateful. So subscribe, leave a comment, and we will see you soon. Love you.